everyone, it's me Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm actually going to be making a piñata using the paper mache method because I have to do a round one. I have to do a few round ones. So I have this beach ball. This is a 20 inch beach ball. Um, I also have a 16 inch which is a little too small. Um, I think this is a good size. It might be a little big but I couldn't find an 18 inch so <clears throat> I'm going with that. And instead of flour and water, I just have some glue, watered down glue, school glue. Um, and I have some strips of paper here. I'm just going to take this out, press it on some waxy paper, it's fine. Just dip this in there, pull it out. and wipe it and I don't want to cover all the way to the top of this beach ball because once this dries I want to be able to pop it or not pop it um, let the air out and pull it out and reuse it so I'm gonna leave like a nice big opening like that <coughs> which I can then go cover up later So I'll do a few of these on the video with you guys and then I will go away and I'm only going to do one layer of paper mache and let it completely dry um, overnight and see how it is tomorrow morning. So this one I think is going to be the Ben 10 um, Pinata, which is like green and black. Or it's going to be a pumpkin pinata, either one. I'm not too sure yet. never done one on a beach using a beach ball before so I hope I didn't have to I guess um, put stuff on the ball so it's not sticky but hopefully it'll be fine so I'm gonna go away and finish doing this and I will come back when the pinata is all dry and ready to go be right back okay so I'm back I went ahead and I did three layers of paper mache the first layer wasn't strong enough the second layer still wasn't strong enough so I did a third layer um, and then I let it completely dry and I took the balloon out or the not the balloon the ball the beach ball so now what I want to do is cut this in half um, because it's going to be like a dome, it's going to be a dome shape, right? So I'm not sure how I'm going to cut it in half, um, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to see if I can maybe draw a line on it somehow with a marker. Maybe a ruler. it doesn't have to be perfect I just don't want it to be all wonky which it looks like it's already going that way 
maybe somebody has um, an idea on how to <clears throat> but this pinata I'm cutting this in half because I'm gonna make a Ben 10 uh, dern shape pinata so then I'm gonna put a cardboard back side on it I'm just going to keep doing this and then I will come back. Board, um, put a piece of cardboard on the back and then I'll be back okay so here I am with the Ben 10 I went and cut that one in half that circle I put on a back backing and now here is the front so now I'm going to go ahead and decorate it um, down here is silver which I'm going to start right down the bottom here, so if I can lean this on something. Put a bit of glue. And then glue this on here. going to do this <coughs> silver over here is going to be the green which I have here so I'm just going to continue the glue line over right here and I want to just enforce this a little bit. Um, so I'm going to add some glue and I'll come back to this part. I just want to make this area a little stronger. So then I'll come back when it's basically pretty much all done. I'm going to put the Ben 10 thing on the front there and leave it. I just want to get a brush so I can paint this. Smooth it out. This has got three layers of paper mache. So I'm just going to keep doing this all the way around, and on the back, I'm going to do it all black, which I have here.
Okay, so I'm back now. I've covered the whole pinata with um, the streamer and tissue. Now I'm going to go add the accent pieces, which is going to be the black. Sorry for the traffic. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead with my glue. some tacky glue and I think I'm just gonna run it along this Sorry for the sirens. They haven't been all day. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to add this one on this side and then attach that like that. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye for now.